Hello and welcome to another UMake tutorial. My name is Nico and today I want to teach you everything you need to know about editing curves in UMake. You see here that I have a curve that I've just sketched and let's edit it. To do this, I'm going to double tap to select the curve and then I'm going to come over to the side menu and tap edit. You'll see that once I tap edit, I have all of these little dots around the curve. We call these control points. And in between the control points, we have these dashed lines. These are called hulls. For editing curves in UMake, we're mostly going to work with the control points. The hulls just help us visualize where the uh, lines between the points are going. And they can be very useful when you are working on more complex models. You'll see that there are a couple different colors of the control points. So let's talk about that. Green represents an endpoint. You can see that at the end of this curve, the control point is green. This is useful if you have several uh, curves selected or are in edit mode with several curves. You'll know where the end of one curve is and the beginning of another one is. Dark blue means that it's where the ends of two curves came together and are merged. So technically this curve is made up of two separate curves but are merged together. When you move a dark blue control point, simply by tapping and dragging on it, this is how you move any control point, you'll notice that it will create kind of a kink or a uh, sharp point. If I tap on a standard control point to move it, which is the, this lighter blue color, you'll notice that when I move this, there's no such point. So keep this in mind. A standard control point will yield a smooth curve, a smooth transition, and a merged point, or a dark blue one, will give you kind of a sharp point in between the two merged curves. When you see a yellow point, or yellow control point, this means that is the current selected control point. So if I go to move this point, you'll see that that one changes to yellow. Same thing. So green is endpoints, light blue is your standard control point, a dark blue is your merge point, and yellow is a selected control point. Now, if I want to add some control points, I simply have to tap and hold close to a curve, and I have the op option to add a control point. If I want to get rid of a control point, simply tap and hold on any control point, and then tap delete. That'll delete control point. To move, as I've shown before, simply tap on any control point and drag, and this will move the point. Now, right now, I've only moved these points along uh, one plane, but if I orbit around this curve, I can move these points in other planes, and you'll see this will yield a more three-dimensional and a more interesting curve. This is the primary function of how you will uh, model or sketch in 3D space in UMake. A lot of the time, you will be moving these control points around. So understanding how they work and how to move them and how to create new ones or delete them is very important. This will help you go a long way within UMake. In addition, this is how most NURBS modeling software works. You're actually just moving points around in three-dimensional space and that those points dictate the shape of a curve. So learning how to do this in UMake will enable you to do it in other programs like Rhino or Alias. All right, a couple more things to note. If I want to split a curve, I'm gonna tap and hold and I have the option to split it. This will create two separate curves out of one single curve. I'm gonna tap split and you'll see that now we got these new green endpoints. If I tap and drag on one, you'll see that I now have a separate curve. I have a space between these and I have a separate curve. So if I tap done, you'll see now out of one curve, I made two curves. If I want to merge that again, I can simply select both of these, go into edit mode again. And if I have my snap tools on, in this case, snap to curve and control point down in this quick menu. If I drag 
a point over another point, you'll see that it'll snap to it and I'll get this green circle. If I let up, I have the option to either merge or blend this, these points, this, this, these two points together. If I merge them, that point may, th that point will basically become one of the dark blue points. So I'm going to merge that. There we go. If I go back one step, and if I blend these points together, it may end up deleting this point, and it will blend this curve to a new shape. I'm going to tap blend, and you'll see that the shape has drastically changed. But once I've blended this, I have a single curve that kind of averaged out the overall shape of everything. There's no, there's no hard kink. There's no uh, additional points. It rebuilt, essentially just rebuilt the whole curve. So that's about everything you need to know to edit control points and to edit curves in UMake. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if you have any comments or questions or feedback for us, feel free to let us know on our Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, or Instagram channels. We can't wait to see what you do with editing curves, and feel free to share it with us. We hope you have a wonderful and creative day. Take care, guys.